What's up, everybody? This has been in Brady from the Journals of Awakening. We're here with another podcast. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about projecting. I know you always start off the podcast like super high energy. Mainly your feelings projected. Yeah, then, high energy. And then yeah. we go down to, all right, I'm going to smoke. No, no, and then it's like, <laughs> and then it drops down to Yeah, break. goldfish! Projecting. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> and we're dead. All right. <laughs> so, so today, Connor has a field trip, and all I can think about is making sure he's safe. Yeah, so we'll probably talk a lot about that as well. <laughs> you guys know how our podcasts go. Yeah, so what do you want to talk about projecting? Projecting my feelings. Uh, this is something that came up a few days ago because I was doing it heavily. But remember, I was a uh, member. You member. You don't remember? I remember. You just want me to explain? You do it often, okay. so I'm trying to like. All right, pinpoint. well, then you tell us because, yeah, for me, no, I, I can't, just. No, you tell me what you remember. I remember. Gosh, I don't remember specifically now, but I know I was like yelling at, at like you and Con. Not yelling, but like aggressively speaking. Out of some kind of a frustration that I had personally. You know? Yeah, like I can not remember specifically when I remember you saying you're sorry and you were yeah. projecting. <laughs> like instantly, right? Yeah. It took me like one minute. I was like, oh my god, look at me. I'm like a big child. Get a hold of my feelings. You yeah, know? projecting is the act of taking your feelings out on someone else and kind of making it seem like they're the problem when really you're having your own problems and you're just yes. taking them out on other people. Yep. Which, you, even if someone else did nothing. Which always brings me back to uh, you can't help anyone until you help yourself. <laughs> yeah, especially because you'll just be projecting the whole time. Exactly. Say you're in a fresh relationship mm -hmm. and you're so afraid that this guy or girl is going to leave you that all you can do is push them away. All you can do is or decide that down. they're going <laughs> to... All you can do is decide they're going to leave you. You know, and then say, why are you leaving me? Why are you doing this? Why my are you God. Doing that? But really, I totally did that a lot in my last relationship. Yeah, you did that in this one too in the beginning. Yeah, but I that, started out toxic like that. All that is projecting because yep. you're so terrified of being abandoned again that you're already letting them abandon you. Yep. Yep. And that's something that you literally just gotta suck up buttercup. You know? <laughs> like, or fix your shit, because that's not right, you know? Yeah. I remember. You don't do that to people. You don't do that! <laughs> In the voice of Will Ferrell from Step Brothers, Chop you up. Mm -hmm. You don't do that! Shush! You're gonna wake up my dad! So, <laughs> so yeah, um... Projecting comes in a lot of forms, especially when you're a parent, because your child will be like no. freaking out. That's true too. Or you could be like having a debate between your spouse, and then your kid asks you a question, and you're like, "I don't really know." Yeah, and that's pro that's projecting, y'all. Exactly. That's that's just in the dumbest form, you know. That's projecting. <laughs> it really is, though, for real, because um, you're taking that frustration and anger out on somebody who's a lot smaller and can't even control their own feelings. And that's not necessary why. I think it's more along the... No, that's why. No, it's because <laughs> of uh, the comfort. The comfort you feel with your family and the vulnerability that you feel you can be. Mm -hmm. Like, I could be an asshole because you guys know I'm not an asshole. You know, so it's like, sometimes it makes it easy to be an asshole. Definitely Projector. makes it easy to be an asshole. Yeah. Does it mean it you should? No, be an you asshole? never should. That's what I'm like, saying. Obviously, no one's perfect. Yeah, I mean, I don't it's know easy perfect, to be but. mean to people you feel safe around because <coughs> they're not going anywhere. Yes, that's all I was getting at. Kids do it a lot. Yep, Kids gosh. that misbehave the most with their parents. Means they feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, which really frustrates me because Connor never wants to go to sleep anymore at nighttime. But yeah. Because he's most comfortable with mom, he could throw a fit, and yeah. she won't raise her voice too much. <laughs> yeah, and then he gets all upset, but... But you throw a fit to dad, and it's stern immediately, and so he doesn't even try it. I don't know. It's not... There's nothing wrong with either method. You need some balance, you know? <laughs> That's how I feel. Or both methods are wrong, and we should just let them stay awake all night. 
Why does that sound like a good idea to you? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not like a dream come true for Stay anyone. Stay awake all night and then I have to wake him up at 7.30 in the morning. Why you gotta wake him up? For school. Nah, skip school. No. Yeah, see? bitch. You know, we'll go to Dairy Queen. We're trying to break <laughs> the cycle. I'm just playing. There's no Dairy Queens for like 100 miles. No. <laughs> Ben's almost for real though. I am almost for real. But... There's Everybody knows I'm like bursting at the seams for adventure. <laughs> I need to go. Have a baby. Need some walking around money. That's adventurous. <laughs> Gator wants to buy some shoes. <laughs> no. Um, I think that there's a cycle to be broken there, you know? When you say let him stay up all night, that's projecting. Because yeah. you'd like to stay up. Because I'd love to be able to just stay up all night. And not have to worry about waking up with the kid or the live feed or anything. You know, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm just going to stay up all night in my comfort zone. I love the night. It's quiet. It's dark. No one. But it's not good for children to do that. I'm sure it's not. I'm not I'm not saying it is. I'm just uh, fantasizing. Just know? like school. Projecting. Ben doesn't think school is the most important. But that's just because he had a horrible childhood. And it wasn't good for you. I just talked about this on my live feed. I'm very happy that Connor is in a Montessori school because it is uh, just way more, makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Makes you want to go to school, you know? Yeah. Like, he, oh, I mean, if, if you're going to teach him how to buckle a belt, button some, some shirts, like, who, who else shoe. teaches you that? No yeah. one. That's not even, it's not even in the educational system. You should get him system, some tie shoes. Right? Know? Like, why though? You have to do it your entire life. So why is it not being taught? Like cooking, like yeah. why is that not an essential class? You know what yeah, I mean? Like, exactly. You can't microwave everything and go through a drive thru You can't do that. <laughs> Some people think you can. Some people think you can, and those people, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> y'all learn. Y'all learn. <laughs> it's so hard to put your trust in somebody else with your child. Yeah. So I Connor's so off nervous. Kids. He's walking around our small town with his teacher. There's only what four kids. I think. That there's another class walking around with them. Older kids? Yeah, I okay. think so. But huh. still, well, he's it's the, a first for us. He's the smallest of the bunch, you Is know? it the first field trip ever for you? Yeah. For ever? Uh -huh. Wow. So and this is Rainy's very first child field trip. But they're walking. Yes. That's a scary part. It's a small town. I mean, he's safe now because they're watching. Vehicles you know, are way scarier than walking. They're walking. They're watching Hansel and Gretel. A play that oh, kids okay. are putting on. As a and it's going to be done by people, right? Yeah, by his classmates. So yeah, that's the coolest thing ever. I love stage work. You know, that's that was my thing back in the day. Yeah. I hope Khan gets into it. We should take a drive <laughs> though, like around ten thirty. Stalk. Him <laughs> Go stalk him. We're gonna stalk you, son. It you heard make it. Make me feel better. <laughs> you heard it right here. Mommy <laughs> had to stalk you on your first field trip. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah. You got your cell phone handy, right? I yeah. do. It should do. be good. <laughs> silent mode is off. What well, is this? Never understood silent mode. If you don't like having a phone, don't have one. That doesn't make sense. I know, I'm projecting. Ben's projecting. <laughs> um, so, yeah. See, projecting is serious, though. Because you can really... As simple as that. It could have been misled. And, like, You're going to have fight. to redo this one. Oh, I know. My middle fingers, too. Oh, good. Well, I, I just keep picking they're it. They're perfectly feigned on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> like, I chewed on the gut. See, yeah, I know. Because I have a... That's exactly what I have. I, have I chew my nails. picking technique. But anyway. <laughs> um, ben painted my nails. Yeah, I did. Did we not talk about that? I don't know. But we don't have to redo it. Anyway. So, projecting very easily coincides with gaslighting, if you're not recognizing what you're doing. There you go, that's a new age turn. It's not new age, <laughs> it's just new to you. It's new to me, yeah, I just, see? See, projecting. Ben, has, ben has problems, yeah, Ben gaslights. <laughs> he does, though, for real. No, I don't, but, you do. But, <laughs> <laughs> He's mostly aware of it, except it's hard to be aware of what you're doing in the heat of the moment, too, so... Yeah, exactly. When you have all that, those feelings rushing through your body, it's hard to be coherent. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the more you practice, the easier it gets, I feel. I've gotten way better. No, definitely. Yeah. Because then you realize it, and especially with my reactions, because I'm not one to just take it. So I'm yeah. like, all right, listen up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
You're like, I don't know what's going on in your shit, <laughs> but uh, we're good. <laughs> exactly. And that's really important. I mean, communication's really important. It is, yeah. And just understanding that, you know, because I have a problem because I take everything personally. And so that really comes out when... I mean, I, I guess I probably should take it personally. See, that's the thing. Ben thinks I take it too personally. <laughs> Yeah. But that's something that... Because I take everything personally. You? No, you don't. No? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. That's projecting. So you get mad when I take things personally? Yeah. Because you... Because I'm like, you need to lighten up, bro. I hate the world. You can't. (laughs) That's how it is. Yeah, you heard it here, folks. Yeah. That's two nails I've peeled off. Why? Because I'm... You just... How? Fidgety. Because it's so... Thickly layered because wow. it's like thick, so it just kind of peels off. We Cat's only did. Going crazy. Yeah, Indy over here is going crazy. You guys know Indy from the shorts and from Trailer Park Cats. Five Trailer Park Five Cats. Five Trailer Park Cats. <laughs> yep, yeah, she's doing it again right now, and it's on our internet cord, so I'm a little concerned. This isn't connected to the internet. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not live right now. That's right. So. <laughs> Let's move on from projection. That's right. We're moving on from projection because 11 minutes is enough to project. Yeah. What? Because uh, I just want to talk about me. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Tell I me. got like a, a promotion. Would you consider I mentioned promotion? this today. I really? did. Yeah. I mentioned this today. It came with a pay raise, two extra hours of work from home responsibility, which is awesome. Yeah. But he did say, he did say yesterday that some days there will be times where I have to do it from work because there will be certain things that need to be done. Oh, right, right, right. But I, I said on those days I'll come in before work and do it because it's not going to make a difference to you, even though you think it might make a difference. It's not going to make a difference to you whether I get there at like 9 or 9.45. So you do your lives and stuff, so it's like yeah. whatever. You guys heard it. See, you're taking up too much of my life. I heard Rainy projecting that. <laughs> That was not what was going on. Ah, we'll let the judges <laughs> comment on comment on that one, everybody, please. So you're going to paint these tonight, okay? <laughs> We're painting nails again? Yeah. All right, all right. We're going to touch up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like it when they start to fall apart. Yeah, well, I don't like it's it when emo. they peel off in one whole motion, and I just can't stop. So. It's yeah. like picking at your face. I don't pick at my face. That's weird. You don't? No. What? Why would you pick at your face? Because you do pick at your face when you get like a pimple. That's not very often. Oh. I pick at I pick at my wart on my hand. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I don't Let's even get know real. if it's a real wart. It's not a wart. It's literally like a hump of skin that I can peel off all the time and it just grows back. So the next. But it's tiny. Just the next good. time. <laughs> the next time we paint nails, we'll just do one layer of each, so that way it doesn't build up, so it's not like easy to peel off. You know. I thought that was a good thing. I don't know, though. No, I thought so, too, but I don't think it is. Anyway, I mean, mine had two layers. Considering we have the nail polish at home, it's fine to just do a layer or two. So, yeah, I got, I got like, a promotion dealio to where I take my take my work computer home. Take my horse to the old town road. So I take the work computer home, and I do a bunch of, like, they call it admin stuff, but I like to call it manager duty. <laughs> That's what I called it just yeah, earlier today. Manager yeah. duties. I said manager's responsibilities. That's what they are. When you take home the work computer, you yeah. manager. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's that's how I like, like the it. store can't run without this here computer. There's only like this one. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like you can't even Like there wasn't out. even a mouse. She had to use my mouse. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh it's really exciting because I like I like to do things that make me more productive, <coughs> and I'm really good at my job, yeah. like, like excellent. Really? So it's it's easy for me to work from home because I can literally picture the store in my head perfectly. So. And this is a very small new company. You know, these people haven't been running a business their whole life. It's not life, a company; so. they're just people. That's what I'm saying. These people have not been running it their whole life, so people get these, a picture. This is it's, like the first business they've ever even tried to own. Exactly. These are real people. They don't know how to make you work from home. They didn't know you needed a mouse, you know what I mean? But they, yeah. they're, but they're awesome. They are awesome. Look, they're all, it's almost all gone now. Right? Like, I wish my mom would have married them. You know what I mean? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> they they would have been really good parents. 
Oh yeah, for sure. If they had kids, they would have just been top notch for sure. All I know is they're they're, they're good uncles, <laughs> <laughs> uncles and aunts. If anything, they get that title regardless. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely feels. I mean, and it's so funny because my boss, the husband, is so much like my dad. And then yeah. astrologically, his birth chart really lines up with my dad's too. So it's super weird because <laughs> they're like ten years apart. Uh, and they just act the very same so it's like if i ever i've never worked with my father but if i did that's how it would be my dad's got a sense of humor and he knows and he's but he's very technical and serious when he gets into it and that's how right, it is right, right. so it's just really cool uh Anne is awesome because she's like like <sighs> She feels like Jamie. Not like a mother, huh? No. No. You don't no. get the motherly vibe out of her. It's more of a... Like a sisterly a sister... vibe. Like, it feels like Jamie, for Like sure. an older, wiser sister. Right? Yeah, right, exactly. Right, yeah, yeah. Like Jamie, exactly. So, yeah. it, it's just really funny, the, the different <laughs> dynamics. Um, and that's Rainey's relationship with them. I don't exactly know them like Ben's that. Ben's like, they're your bosses. You, you guys know me. <laughs> I am a, a, a in-the-house guy. He's a stay-at-home person. Yeah, like all the time, yeah. <laughs> so I don't get out too much. But I've shaken their hands like 17 times. You've been to their house. I've worked at their house. I've never been to their house. i worked at their I house. I don't even know what the inside of it I looks like. I took Jason there to teach him how to make My money. child's <laughs> been to their house. That's right. Me and Jason went there twice, and we did some work for him. I've never been there, and it's very aggravating because... You've it's just there. a house, bro. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a rite of passage. You know, yeah. I'm going to tell Anne she needs to make her famous white chili. She makes white what chili. What is white chili? Yeah. Please, tell me more, tell I, me more. Please. I don't know. What? But that's what I'm going to have her I'm make. I'm Googling it. <laughs> it's like, they'll, they'll be quick to order Domino's, but I want some white chili. Domino's. You know, so. Oh, Domino's. Uh, Domino's? Who's ordering Domino's? They do. From where? No bad. Oh my yeah. goodness! <laughs> they, they take that much of a drive for pizza. Yeah, that's insane, bro. That's like six Instead of just a box, and they get like three or four boxes. Yeah, but why not just whip up the crust and make you a pizza? Because they get like three or four boxes for leftovers. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Do they microwave them? Uh, I don't know. Bet not. <laughs> <laughs> Bet not. <laughs> it's disgusting. So yeah, that's my little spiel about my current situation with my job and then next next month this is this is the one ben feels nervous for i'll just put him straight on the spot mm. next month is the gem show and i for sure want to attend like a field trip for mom <laughs> mom goes on a field trip and that'll be cool i told them that they should put their car on a like company car insurance Right. Because that's really the only time they drive their car. They drive to Sierra Vista. It's to pick up stuff. It, they drive, you think it'd be cheaper? I don't. You don't think so? No. You have to have a million dollar coverage for any company vehicle. I'm pretty sure. They Maybe definitely they probably have the highest coverage for sure. Mm. And million dollars though? No. Um, that's what tractors are insured. Well, <laughs> this is like a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So they really only drive it for work, and can't you write it off? You, you can write oh, it 100%. off. Oh, yeah. 100%. Every mile will be written off. And that's yeah. why I think that they should do that, you know? Yeah, but I don't think it has to be registered that way in order to write off the mileage and the tires and the wear and tear. I think it does. I never did when I was doing a 1099, but they don't do a 1099. Yeah. Audit protection. <laughs> that only costs a few bucks. Anybody can get it. But, no, uh, I know. I'm just saying, like, who knows if that was the right way to do it. You don't know anything, government. You didn't even know how to do your taxes. Yeah, that's why I paid the guy. <laughs> <laughs> paid the guy, and the guy gave me the money. You know? It's so funny. <laughs> it is funny, because, yeah, I haven't filed taxes in fucking forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not even them pandemic checks. I didn't get one of them for the record. For the record, on the record, you heard it here, folks. I didn't get not one pandemic check. If y'all want to hook a brother up with them three checks, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm not going to go giving up any information for them. I file my taxes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I do. I file my taxes. I have two kids on my taxes. And uh, it works out well. Unless Kayla's listening, then Ben files his taxes every year and claims <laughs> claims one child. Yeah, exactly. Because 
she'll do that. Cause she does those things. Yeah. Well, you don't have to be a parent to file taxes for a child. You yeah. have to have no, taken care of them for six months out of the year. Well, yeah, and that's why there's a lot of fraud behind it because a lot of people will claim other people's kids because they know they don't file taxes. Yeah. And that will, uh, they'll get the credit until you say something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. <coughs> but if you never file, uh, well, they just got off on 18 years of free. That's cool. Fortnite. Good for them. Chapter four. That's right. So far, we've talked about projection, my job. I'm going to write it down. All right. We, we always struggle to figure out what the title is. Proj. Proj. Job. Job. And night. Your night. <laughs> Proj, job, and night. Got so, it. on your first instinct, I, I have a hard time with change. Chapter four, the entire fucking map changed. The entire thing. Every single tiny little bit of it is different. I have no idea where I'm going the half the time. The graphics are different, y'all. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going half the time. I have no idea what weapons these are. I They brought the dirt bike. I manifested that. <laughs> they brought dirt bike. Um, and it's trash. I love it. Yeah, you just like the idea of it. Yeah. You can't even maneuver it. You can whip it. Yeah, it's, that's what I was saying. It's maneuverable. It whips. You no. can actually hit people with that whip. You I know was that, on right? the passenger. I broke a bush with it. Whipped cool. It. Yeah. I was passenger on Ben's dirt bike on Fortnite, and he drove it like shit, so... <laughs> yeah, well, I, it was my first day. <laughs> yeah, Today's my second day. We'll see how much better I can do. <laughs> and then they have these augments, and these augments, I have no idea how they generate. I don't know what an augment is. I hate this. They're power-ups. Yeah, I know. You told me. And I'm like, I'm not learning it. It's the same thing as the goo, the, the chrome. I don't no, care. I'm ignoring it the entire season. Which is ridiculous, because there's one... Where every time you're in a bush, your health regenerates. Yeah, no thanks. That's weird. No, It's just babe. too much, man. It's too much. It's like when you play the game of life, the board game yeah. of life, right? And they're like, hey, this is your lucky number. Every time somebody rolls it, you get blah, blah, blah. You expect me to remember and watch everyone roll and see what number they land on to make sure that I get my $2? Yes. No. Because that's how you it's play the game. It's too much extra responsibility. But it I just like lot. landing on this and I getting do this. agree with it. It is a lot of extra. It's too much extra. It's a lot to worry yeah. about. The game's getting complicated. But I, like I like to learn things, so I'm totally here for it. Not like me. To... I'm about to quit school again. All over again. I like... <laughs> <laughs> that is what happens. That's what feels. It? Yeah. It's like, nope, too much. I don't need to know this shit. What, what is calculus? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I, I don't either, it. man. Algebra was enough. So yeah, so Fortnite's crazy. added so much. The graphics are absolutely insane. Every single page, like the battle pass page, has changed. It's it's wild. It's really wild. It's buck wild. But Mr. Beast will be coming in the <gasps> shop. Oh man, how do we not bring that up right away? Because I've already said it like five times. Like, it's such an ugly character, but Ben really wants it. What do you mean? He's a beautiful man. Did you see the character? No. Is it bad? I mean, it's just like... Mr. It's, Beast, it's you better not... It's just a dude. It's like better not you, let him make bad characters. No, it's like when you see, like, the YouTubers get their own... Well, that's what's happening, so... Right. Mr. But the YouTubers Beast. I've never heard of, Mr. Beast is like... Freaking hero. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um... Let's see. Images. So You're my hero, Mr. Beast. I don't know if this, <laughs> there's no way this is accurate because unless it's just Chandler. Let me see. That's one hundred percent Chandler. Yeah, <laughs> That's like, sick. Is Chandler coming too? Oh, all, all the boys are probably coming. No, because they're calling this guy Mr. Beast. No, they're liars. Oh. That does look like Mr. Beast. No, it doesn't. Wait. Mr. Beast isn't look like that. No, you're right. It looks like a mixture of Chandler and Mr. Beast. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even think you're going to like the Mr. Beast character. It's for support, bro. It's like For buying, support for what? Like buying his merch. Hey, Siri, how much is Mr. Beast worth? Fifty million. Fifty-five million. I knew that, dude. I said it before you looked it up. <laughs> I watched this a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, he's actually one of the lower timers on YouTube. No, I, that's because he gives his money away. But I got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. We're exactly. definitely going to buy the Mr. Beast, but I'm not saving my V-Bucks for you. I will spend 
I will rob you. I will spend $20 <laughs> you to get beast. you that beast. I will rob her for That's that what skin. Ben wants for Christmas, and that's fair because I just spent $21 on Fortnite for Christmas. <laughs> She's like, I don't even want all this stuff, but I'm buying it. And now she has like a bunch of V-Bucks, oh, which is credits for nothing. What? For, like, you don't even have a plan for them. I might get some harvesting tools and shit, you know? You don't even have a plan. Yeah, see, she just bought credits. And on Game that note, credits, guys. and on that note, and on that note, and Stop. on that note, I want to play Fortnite. You're canceling for Fortnite? Yeah, we got three good topics in. You guys heard it. Peace. Peace.